What's up mga tol? Shimbu with the one for an eye. It's another video para sa inyo. This time talking about a uh, relatively new game, no? Um, lagi ako nag-uusap mga classic games, alam mo yon mga throwback games, and some popular games. Pero this time, we have a very, very modern game. Kaka-release niya lang uh, last year, and it's still popular up to this day, you know? And that is of the mecha battle game called Armored Core 6. Fires of Rubicon, no? Ah, napagada ng game na to. It's very, very challenging. So let's dive onto the inner parts ng larong to. Simulan na natin. Ngayon ang Armored Core 6 is actually a long-standing franchise na no mula sa PlayStation 1 hanggang sa iba-ibang iterations ng PlayStation and of course when it went into PC it's a mech building game kung saan yung ano mo uh, Armored Core mo or yung character mo or yung battle unit mo is to be customized you know by different parts it's highly customizable hindi lang actually sa looks but also onto the external parts but also internal parts of your mobile suit no? Then you have your pilot that is actually the main driver of the story ng Armored Core 6 na. No? Although doon sa game wala tayong masyado nakikitang mga faces, characters in itself, rather they are represented by their narrative, voice lines and more so logo lang no nung let's say affiliation na nirerepresenta nila inside the game. Still, the story of Armored Core 6 is one to be enjoyed with, no? Hindi ko siya i-dadhive ngayon sa story to or sa video na to kasi mas maganda kung susubukan nyo siya. But that's the main summary, no? You have your pilot and he will be working on two different mercenary groups, corporations, and organizations on Rubicon, no? On this area called Rubicon where you want to at least extract the main resources ng Rubicon and of course, the ongoing politics and relationships between these mercenaries and different factions seizing control no, of that resource. Now, we will focus more on to the gameplay. Kasi, ayan nga, no, yung gameplay ng Armored Core 6 is probably the best part being talked about by many people right now. No? The gameplay of Armored Core 6 is probably the best mech battle right now and the best one on the iterations ng Armored Core. Napaka-intricate niya, napaka-komplikado niya, pero of course, really good at least no, uh, for starters. Maganda pa rin yung starting level niya. Pero ang pinaka-importante dito, when I say complicated, is it is because hindi siya ganon kadali. No? It is very challenging. Mainly initiated on by the boss, mainly initiated on by the mission, pero highly because of the many options and the many ways na pwede mong laruin yung laro. No? So, ayun yung nagpapaganda dito. Again, I did mention the boss fights. And when it comes to the boss fights, no hindi lang basta mahirap yung mga boss fights, halos uh, there is a vibe of it being a Souls-like game. So when you say Souls-like game, it is difficult. Na, na yung main core gameplay would be onto the boss fight at siya yung main driver then nung mismong laro. Hindi lang actually, mahirap nga yung mga boss fight, they're also iconic, no? they're also memorable. Like, uh, you could actually see on the horizon what boss you will be fighting with and of course, medyo may pagka-trial and error yung approach mo doon sa boss. Because the idea is you get to fight them. You have an idea, meron siyang parang dozier or information bago mo siya kakalabanin. Pero the best teaching or teacher when it comes to fighting the boss is to actually fight them head on. Tapos, yun, kung maganda yung setup mo, then you could, of course, win against the boss. But if you lose, then that is one learning lesson of what are the changes na pwede mong gawin doon sa mobile suit mo. And then you could put or attach the necessary parts, you know, uh, in winning against that boss. Like I said, maraming iconic boss para dito sa Armored Core 6, no? Mamememorize mo sila, pero probably yung pinaka-iconic pa rin, no? At pinaka, kahit sa akin natatandaan ko would be of the Ibis boss, no? Yung Ibis boss is really like the epitome of a boss battle na parang, hindi siya yung final boss I must say, no? When it comes to the story, pero definitely the most difficult of all of them. Now, you've fought, you know, large ones, you've fought, like, uh, small ones, and you've fought ones na ang daming binabato sa'yo, pero Ibis is just the whole package, no? Uh, hindi siya ganun kalaki, pero it is so iconic. It is also very, very fast. And for a boss, like, being the top boss maybe of the game, not the final boss again, it is very, very unpredictable, no? It took me a lot of tries, it took me a lot of <laughs> trial and error para lang matapos itong boss na to. Pero, alam mo yun, amidst all the frustration, hindi ko mabilang ha, kung ilang beses, siguro mga 30 plus ko siyang trinay talunin, is the satisfaction once I was able to do it. No? It's really a real, real struggle, especially for, I must say, a linear game such as Armored Core 6. No? Now, of course, the best parts of Armored Core 6 ay hindi lang actually doon sa gameplay, no? or rather doon sa mga fights or battles. 
again, the action is there, but also the aesthetics, again, ng pwede mong magawang mech, no? pwede mong magawang robot. Again, you can customize almost everything. Hindi lang internal parts, no? Gaya na sinabi ko kanina, but you could also, uh, like, customize the looks, no? Up to an unlimited options. And again, yun din yung main driver mo uh, that you want to progress in the game, no? Uh, you want to finish the game, you want to finish the campaign, so that you secure more parts in improving your uh, robot. Now, the cool part about this one is that hindi basta-basta pwedeng islap on mo lang kung ano yung magandang bahagi na gusto mo. Even a specific playstyle is needs, needing or requiring balance din para sa larong to. Hindi necessarily na you just want to roll out all shotgun or all the big guns because there is some weight restriction o kaya energy restriction for your bot. So, in itself, yung pag-optimize din nung robot mo or yung mech mo is also like a minigame no? <laughs> on that part. Pero ayun, just for a summary and overall, this game is such a great game, no? Um, I know, no, para sa, sa iba, medyo hefty yung price nito. Pero to those who can, no, to those who can, and kapag nakita nyo siya nag-sale, I suggest na bilhin nyo siya, okay? Kasi it's really like one of those games that is worth your money. And there are, you know, in this era of, I must say, not really expensive, pero clearly, uh, games or spending when it comes to games, eh, mas mataas na ngayon. Uh, you want to be wise and this one would be a good choice kasi yun yung mas importante no? hindi naman yung kung mahal or mura yung game ang importante is kung maganda talaga yung game and it is worth your money and Armored Core 6 is definitely worth your money again this video has been a long time coming ang tagal ko nang gusto ng i-share to sa inyo tagal ko na actually natapos yung Armored Core and you know me no? I'm just a sucker for robots sobrang pan talaga ng robots mapa, transformers pa yan Gundam or anything ngayon get Armored Core I'm just very very glad na nalaro ko tong game na to no so yun guys no sana nag-enjoy at may natutunan kayo sa panonood ng video na to like if you like the video subscribe to support the channel let me know in the comment sections what do you think of Armored Core 6 no sino pang mga nakalaro nito at ano mga future videos ang gusto yung mapanood dito sa ating channel I am Shinbu with the one for an eye and as always lakin gamers mabuhay <laughs>